Okay guys and girls, this is Shardy signing in. It's quarter to one in the morning. I've got complete insomnia due to this tank. Um, and I'm gonna have to whisper a little bit because I've got the, uh, the family upstairs sleeping. So, a little update. Basically, as you can see, I have now rigged up my Radions and I'm pretty happy with this. We've, uh, my friend kindly came over today helped me out um, and it's all pretty neat I've got all the cables running down the back uh, let me just uh, try and focus here got all the cables running down the back of there into one little thing that you can't actually see from inside the tank got the focus on this you have to excuse me um, but yeah it's uh, pretty damn happy with it all um, I've got one little USB cable coming out the back off one of them just to hook it up to the computer and I'll show you how I've done that in a second but um, yeah all these cable pipes and up there they're eventually going to get boxed in so it should be pretty neat quite happy it's tidy and nice um, and I'll also show you a little bit about the how I've rigged it up to the computer um, but yeah now I'll show you that now what I didn't account for actually was that these radians come with uh, separate ballot bloody oh, I can't focus here sorry guys there we go manual um, basically these radions came with three individual ballasts bit of an oversight on my behalf but um, I'll take you have a look down here I don't know if you'll be able to see but I've basically managed to rig them um, up just there let me just focus in here oh, I can't focus for shit on this um, but yeah, we've we've rigged them up on the top there, so they're kind of out of the way. It's the only place I could have put them really, because I hadn't planned for this. But there we go. So they're all nice and cosy in there. Um, basically, I've, what I've done is I've run one USB off the back there, and I'm, like I said, I'm eventually going to cable it all the way across, nice and neatly. But. Um, I've got it going into my Belkin here, which you've probably seen on an earlier video. This little wireless USB box. So that's going to my router um, over in my office. And um, focus back there. That's going over to my router over in the office, and it's communicating with my PC here wirelessly, which is pretty cool. So let's uh, focus on this and have a little look. Um, yeah, so we've got the Ecotech um, config utility up here now. And as you see, I'll just run you through a few of the little presets here. Um, we've got, let's go for a deep blue. So as you can see there, the room's just gone a kind of really deep ass blue, which is beautiful. Very nice, loving it. Um, and I'll show you a couple more. Let's focus back here. And what else have we got? We've got the all blues. Focus back slightly brighter. Not much, too much change there. Um, so look again. Got to focus every time I go back here, guys. You have to apologise. And then we've got the white and royal, which is kind of like, you know, it's nice looks good um, frankly as you know I'm a bit of a newbie to all of this so don't know how I'm going to run it it's actually got an artificial mode setting here on the Ecotech Radeon um, but they are I presume they're bringing out a natural they, th they say they're bringing out a natural setting which will basically simulate complete weather with the RGB colour spectrum during the day so that would be pretty cool um, and then you've got obviously pure white, which as you can see, that's just the pure white. And you've also got all the different, um, focus back here, you've got all the different, uh, like 5K, 7K, 10K, 12K, all the different K, which I presume, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, are kind of imitating what metal halides would do. Um, but. Like I say, and you've got storm clouds, not got the storm lightning stuff going yet, but uh, all in good time. But at the moment, I'm leaving it in this uh, whorehouse red, as I call it. 
no offence uh, to any uh, other one on that one, but it is quite a, a sexy, a sexy red that you would find in certain areas that you might frequent in Amsterdam. Um, but yeah, no, loving it. It's looking really good. It's nice and neat and tidy. I love these little fixings they get. I was wondering how the hell I was going to hang it. See if I can focus here. Oh, you probably can't see it. But I was wondering how the hell I was going to hang these because I've got a plasterboard ceiling and I was thinking, isn't it going to be too heavy? But they give you these little clips that kind of pop out inside the ceiling hole. So, you know, it makes it really stable and nice, which I'm really happy about. So, as promised, this is the next update for you and <laughs> there's going to be so many more to come. Um, unfortunately, I can't plumb the system this weekend because I'm missing a few 45 elbows and a few bits and bobs that they've got to be saltwater grade and I can't get them uh, from the place until Monday, which I was pretty annoyed about because I really wanted to plumb it this weekend. But, um, yeah really happy loving it um rate comment and subscribe if you want to see the full journey this is going to go on for well fingers crossed if everything goes well for years to come so um thanks for watching this is shoddy signing out